guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be sharing with you my top five favorite ab exercises. These are my ride or dies when it comes to working the abdominal region, baby. If you guys been watching my channel for a while or follow me on Instagram, you would know I'm big with the abs, okay? That's my favorite jam. So these are my current top five that have just like literally changed my entire core area. So sharing them with you guys today. But before we get into it, if you are new, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make new videos on all things fitness every single week. So definitely hit that subscribe button, all right? You will not regret it. Let's go. So guys, it's true. Abs are, in fact, made in the kitchen, okay? That part is true. A slight caloric deficit is what you'll need to achieve a really just lean overall toned core. However, abs are strengthened in the gym. So guys, the only things I'll be using today are kettlebells and a bench, an adjustable bench, all right? Both of these can be purchased online. I'll have links down below. So you can really find room in any home. So they are like very home friendly types of equipment, take up virtually no space and are literally like a game changer. So keep that in mind. All right guys, so first exercise we're gonna be doing are hollow pulses. These are done on a stable ground with your legs and your hands both elevated. This is gonna engage your entire core. Basically, you're just gonna keep yourself elevated and do little pulses like that. Down, levitate, going up, elevate. Watch me demonstrate. On time, never late. I grind, celebrate. No pump fake, hesitate. I've been scoring every day. Champagne Perrier. Since 9 3, been in the box. Now I'm stepping up to home. Like straight out the sand lot. Now I'm plotting on the globe. I work hard, I show love. That calm and steady grind. Got this far, I go hard. Let God take. Holds or pulses like you just saw are really good for just keeping the core engaged throughout. There's no let up, there's no rest time. So with that being said, any ISO type of workouts like holds, like planks, things like that, really great to start your workout with just to kind of keep things activated and warmed up. The reason why I like an adjustable bench is because I like to do decline leg raises. You have gravity against you, it's just better range of motion and it overall just helps to target and really engage that core a lot better than just kind of being stagnant on the ground. Okay, so you wanna be on an angle where your feet are like pretty much off of the decline bench here, as you can see. You wanna keep very stable and grab the top right here. By grabbing this top, you're actually engaging your upper abs as well. So even though the leg raise itself is targeting your lower abs, Holding onto the top actually works your upper. So this is a full abdominal burner right here. You could try three sets of 12. That's typically what I go for, but please, by all means, everybody's body's different. So I would never tell you how many reps and sets you should do. It depends on an individual's goals and their capabilities. So always keep that in mind. that I love, 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 love to engage this entire freaking core area are decline sit-ups. So the trick to these is making sure that your back does not actually touch or rest on the bench. So when you're eccentrically declining, keeping your core nice and engaged the entire time, you're gonna go right as if you're about to touch, hold for a sec, and then come all the way back up. Always be sure to go down nice and slow. Be sure to keep your core nice and tight, back straight, neutral spine. You don't wanna be having your neck all cocked in anywhere. Okay, so nice and just straightforward as you go, like that. Make sure you have your feet anchored right here on your bench, and then you're good to go. Track, 
counting all the way up. Count blessings, yeah, you know we pray up. Way up, pray up. On track, now we going way up. I got his, his band like I'm Barry Bonds Running through the money, but the money's long I don't love it, but I need it, keep it coming on Only friendly, me and friends, we don't get along I put that on my name All right, guys, now let's move on to some weight 10 pounds kettlebell, baby Typically, I like to add in the weight after I've done a lot of just like body weight work first Just to kind of warm up those core muscles Get them engaged so you don't tear anything and then slowly add in the weight. So I have a pack of four kettlebells and this is the lowest weight, 10 pounds. So what we're gonna do is the same as you saw before, going straight down without touching your back and then twisting on the come up. So this is gonna work your entire oblique. Go back down, twist the other way on the come up. So let's shred up those obliques. Last ab workout. This is probably my favorite to do. We're gonna be doing weighted toe touches with a kettlebell, going heavier this time, all right? I went from 10 to 25 pounds, but please, by all means, do what's comfortable for you. I didn't start off with 25 pounds at all. <laughs> so this is just something I'm working my way up with. Now what we're gonna be doing here is laying flat on your back. You're gonna keep your feet elevated the entire time, like so. You're gonna grab your kettlebell. I like to hold it like this, nice and tight, and just touch your toes. So what you're gonna do, and this is how I like to perform these, is to go up, touch your toe, keep it there for a second. Right now, my entire upper to mid abdominal is on fire. And then I'm just gonna slowly go back with the kettlebell. Flat back, keeping my arms Elevated, never touching the ground, and then coming back up this way. Your legs are staying up the entire time during this. Make sure you get those shoulders off the ground up. Hold for a second. So let's do this, shall we? That one sends me over the top, baby. Okay, I'm done right now. Like I said, do what's comfortable for you. If you wanna do it without the kettlebell, totally. But me personally, it's an added challenge and I feel like when I incorporate weights, it's been a game changer for me. My, my abs have never felt this strong, okay? It's an intense workout on your core. Training core is such an essential part of any exercise routine because it helps you in every other facet of your training, whether it's lower body, upper body. Having a solid, solid core trunk right here is what you need in order to stabilize and just be safe while working out to prevent any types of injuries. So very important, incorporate it if you're not. All right guys, so those were my top five ab workouts. I hope you enjoyed this video. So guys, comment down below if you have any questions at all. We'll chit chat it up. Guys, thank you again for watching. And if you are not already, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week because together we got this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Go, dummy, go beast.